ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful, all praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and all of his followers until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this new episode from the series of glimpses from the fragment prophetic biography uh, of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Today, we are talking about some great good news after the conquest of Mecca and after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah and uh, uh, Muslims have come, uh, tri Arab Arabian tribes have come to Mecca to uh, really ask either to be Muslim or even to find some uh, uh, deal with the Prophet, peace be upon him, to submit to his, to his power. That is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him uh, superior and gave him victory after the conquest of Mecca. Things have changed and that happened, uh, this conquest took place on the eighth year of Hijrah or in the eighth year of Hijrah. Now in the ninth year of Hijrah, the following year, all these Arabian uh, uh, tribes and the, and the tribes, uh, tribal do delegations came over to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, even continued into the 10th year of Hijrah. Uh, and, uh, the number of these delegations uh, were almost like 197 or, or, or close to that. And uh, the number of uh, persons in each delegation varied either one person or even up to 100 or 150 so uh, uh, it's it's a huge huge uh, numbers of people let me uh, say why these uh, you know delegations came uh, well because of the conquest of mecca and the uh, defeat of the uh, polytheists or mushrikeen in Hunayn in the, uh, and in Mecca and the Prophet peace be upon him uh, uh, actually uh, ruined all of their uh, uh, these idols they were all uh, uh, broken and uh, uh, and, and uh, torn down because uh, they uh, to the Arab to the Arabian tribes they resembled the um, uh, the gods that they worship and they are fearful to touch them or to come even close to them but then after they were been destroyed now there is no more fear and now their their hearts are uh, attached to uh, uh, Islam and Muslims and and therefore uh, you know people started to realize the importance of, uh, of Islam and and even the justice and peace that the Prophet peace be upon him created after all these events. Now, let me give you some samples of these uh, delegations. First, uh, the delegation of Bani Tamim. Bani Tamim is from Middle Arabia, and the uh, people came, uh, and they, uh, of course, when, when, when coming, uh, they didn't know the etiquettes of how they ask permission and how they uh, invite. They started shouting, you know, uh, asking for where the Prophet, peace be upon him. And that's why Allah revealed in the uh, chapter of Al-Hujurat, Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu, la tuqaddimu bayna yaday Allahi wa rasooli wa attaqu Allah, inna Allah samiyun alim. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu, la tarfa'u aswatakum fawqa sawt al-nabi, wa la tajharu lahu bilqawl, ka jahri ba'dikum li ba'din an tahbata a'malukum wa antum la tashurun. إن الذين يغضون أصواتهم عند رسول الله أولئك الذين امتحن الله قلوبهم للتقوى لهم مغفرة وأجر عظيم 
ان الذين ينادونك من وراء الحجرات اكثرهم لا يعقلون ولو انهم صبروا حتى تخرج اليهم لكان خيرا لهم والله غفور رحيم so that is exactly what happened you know the, the, the ayahs are explaining about these people who did not have any mind to think and they uh, did not have, have any wisdom nor knowing the etiquettes of how to treat the prophet or talk to him uh, uh, so they did what they did and they even brought uh, their own poet and their own uh, uh, speaker uh, uh, the uh, poet uh, was Azibriqan ibn Badr and the uh, uh, speaker was Utarid ibn Hajib but then the prophet peace be upon him showed him uh, his own poet and his own speaker and that is uh, uh, the uh, speaker Thabit ibn Qais and the poet was Hassan ibn Thabit and of course they are more advanced in, in, in liter in, 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 in rhetoric in, in doing all of the uh, these things uh, so they had they uh, you know although they they became uh, they wanted to submit themselves as Muslims so the, the, the Prophet accepted him accepted them but the idea is not to challenge or try to uh, supersede uh, the Prophet والسلام, and his own uh, companions. Uh, another uh, delegation came, which is uh, the delegation of Abdul Qais. Now, these people came from the area of Ahsa in the eastern part of the uh, Arabian Peninsula, and uh, they lived in what is known until today the uh, village of Juwatha. Juwatha is uh, in uh, uh, Al Ahsa. And their uh, 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 village is the first village where Jum'ah was established after Medina. So it was the second one uh, uh, in, in Islam and the first one outside Medina. And they, uh, these people came uh, with two delegations. First one was in the fifth year of Hijrah and the second one came with, uh, in the uh, 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 ninth year of Hijrah. And the first one was like made of three, uh, 13 uh, men, and uh, in them was Al Ashaj, uh, Ashaj Abd al Qais, and the Prophet ﷺ praised him for his own uh, uh, patience and uh, his own wisdom. And the uh, second delegation con uh, contained uh, 40 men, uh, where uh, one of them was Al Jarud Al Abdi. He was a Christian, but he uh, became a Muslim. And he was a he was a, a good Muslim. And the Prophet ﷺ welcomed them again and said, "Marhaban bil qawm ghaira khazaya wa la nadama." Welcome to the to the people who will not be humiliated nor be uh, sorry. Uh, look at this now. Uh, the um, delegation of Thaqif. Very interesting how uh, they dealt with the Prophet. Remember in Taif, how they treated the Prophet, meaning the um, uh, uh, people of Thaqif, they did not accept him, they did not uh, welcome him. Uh, this uh, were like Mas'ud and Habib and Abdi Alayl uh, from Bani Amr ibn Awf. They rejected the Prophet, peace be upon him. They, in fact, uh, drove him out of Taif and he came, um, you know, uh, in, in, uh, in, in deep sorrow for what uh, they did to him. And uh, uh, it was, it was, he was looking for some support after the uh, rejection of, of uh, Quraysh. But then uh, again, uh, nothing really uh, happened. Now this time, after the uh, victory of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they came and uh, uh, Urwa ibn uh, Mas'ud uh, accepted Islam. And he asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, to send him back to his own people to invite his own people to Islam. But uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, they will kill you. He said, O Messenger of Allah, I'm so beloved to them from their own even uh, 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 close wives. And uh, I'm, feed, uh, I'm, I'm so obeyed uh, and, and loved among them. But when he came back, a man actually... Uh, throw uh, 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 actually a, a spear or, or hit him with uh, with an arrow and he killed him. He killed him just like the Prophet ﷺ told him. And then uh, Thaqif felt so sorry that they did what they did and uh, Abdi Alayl uh, and the people with him 
uh, came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, after he returned from Tabuk, and they uh, uh, accepted Islam, and they, but they had these conditions. They uh, told him that uh, our people accepted Islam, but they said, we have conditions. First, we need you to leave our own uh, idol, Allat, for three years. The Prophet ﷺ rejected that. How could he uh, leave that again to worship with, besides Allah? Once you accept Islam, that's it. And then he sent Abu Sufyan and Al-Mughira ibn Shu'bah to uh, 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 destroy that, uh, to, to destroy Allat. Uh, then they asked him to uh, 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 not to offer prayer and uh, uh, not even to break their idols uh, with their own hands. He said, yes, uh, we will not let uh, you break uh, your idols with your own hands. But as for prayer, there is no way that you can, you can be a Muslim without offering prayer. There is no religion uh, without a prayer. And he said, uh, I... Uh, uh, they said, uh, forgive us from not paying zakah or participating in jihad. And he said, yes, uh, you have that. And I'm sure he said, they will uh, pay zakah and they will fight in the cause of Allah when they, when they, uh, when they become Muslim. And then they asked him even, because our land is, is so cold, can you uh, 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 not uh, demand us to to offer the, uh, uh, to do the wudu uh, or the ablution. He said, uh, you cannot do that. He, they said even, can we have the like, uh, the wine of the pumpkin? He said, it's not possible. Um, and then he actually rejected many of these things that they wanted to um, relieve themselves from the commitment towards Islam. And uh, uh, he actually uh, uh, assigned uh, uh, an emir or uh, a leader uh, among them, uh, who is Uthman ibn Abil Aas. He was young, but he was very keen to learn Islam and to be good uh, in it. Uh, after 15 days uh, they spent in Medina, they went back to Taif, and they, uh, uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent Abu Sufyan al-Mughira again to, to um, uh, destroy Allat. And uh, when Allah was being destroyed, all of the women had gathered around there crying. Uh, but then the uh, Allah was destroyed and, and uh, the gold and the money that was inside uh, that uh, uh, idol were, uh, were taken. Now, uh, another uh, uh, delegation uh, is, is very interesting. Uh, but let me say it quickly because uh, this is uh, uh, people from, uh, uh, well, this is, this is uh, Banu Hanifa. Banu Hanifa again came with, uh, with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they uh, I mean, came, came to the Prophet and they wanted, to, uh, uh, they wanted to accept Islam. And uh, uh, the Prophet, alayhi salatu yes, uh, uh, started with, with uh, uh, Thumama ibn Athal, who was tied uh, in, uh, in the masjid of the Prophet, peace be upon him, for uh, like three, three days. But then he was just made like that, just to observe what the Prophet, peace be upon him, was doing and how he dealt with his own companions. But he, when he was released, on, um, uh, he went on his own. He uh, uh, took uh, a full bath and he came back and he accepted Islam and he then returned back to uh, his uh, place in Yamama. Um, but then uh, in the coming year, uh, uh, some like in the ninth, uh, Musaylima came and uh, he said to the Prophet, uh, I'd like to be a leader after, after you, uh, you know, after you. Uh, but then the Prophet, peace be upon him, was, was carrying uh, a leaf of a, of a palm and he said, even if you ask me to give you this, I will not uh, give it to you and uh, you will not pass what Allah decides for you. And if you leave and abandon Islam, Allah will, 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 will kill you. And exactly that is what happened. Uh, Musaylima was killed because he announced uh, his uh, Prophethood, he, he, he thought that he was a prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 
uh, actually uh, uh, killed him at the hands of Muslims at the time of Abu Bakr as siddiq This showed us some of these uh, delegations, but we will continue with more of these delegations in this series, Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما